More than 400 million people around the world are living with diabetes. Their bodies have difficulty controlling the amount of sugar or glucose in their bloodstream. Higher levels could damage vital organs. Health officials around the world are spending hundreds of billions of dollars to combat diabetes. Governments in North America and the Caribbean spend the most, about $348 billion per year. Europeans spend $156 billion. Southeast Asian nations, though, are near the bottom of the list in terms of spending for diabetes, about $7 billion per year. Diabetes treatment could soon be revolutionized with a simple patch. Scientists in South Korea are developing a skin patch which tests glucose levels in sweat instead of blood. All the while, it delivers drugs painlessly through micro needles that are too short to touch nerves. CCTV's Jack Barton has insight from Seoul. South Korean diabetic Kang Sam-dok tests her blood sugar levels to determine whether she needs an injection of insulin. It's not easy to do. I only do it to live. I and other diabetic patients would like an easier way instead of an injection. The answer might be this high-tech patch, which could enable diabetics to monitor blood sugar levels and receive insulin painlessly. Instead of blood, the patch checks perspiration for glucose and pH levels, sending the information to a smartphone app. If the application judges that the patient needs medication, then microneedles embedded within this patch deliver the drug. The device is being developed at Seoul National University by a team of researchers led by Professor Kim Dae-hyung. There's no bleeding, no pain, no stress. The patch allows the drug to enter painlessly and automatically, based on the blood sugar measured on the skin. Trials on mice and two men have been successful, and more prototypes are being made to test under more challenging conditions. The electrical heart of the patch is made from tiny amounts of gold and ultra-tough graphene. It's essentially a semiconductor, so factories already exist capable of mass production. This is the very conventional process because uh, this is the very small portion of the conventional semiconductor fabrication process. The World Health Organization estimates the number of people living with diabetes has risen fourfold over the past 25 years. If the prototype proves successful, the patch could be commercially available within a few years. It's expected to cost about the same as a conventional diagnostics and treatment kit, which would be good news for millions of diabetics worldwide. Jack Barton, CCTV, Seoul.